Here's the problem. In order, the height, equal sides, and base of an isosceles triangle have lengths that are consecutive even numbers. What's the area of this triangle? We don't know any of these sides. Let's just say x is a natural number, so 2x is an even number and represents the height of this triangle. If these sides are consecutive even numbers, then the two equal sides will be 2x plus 2, and the base will be 2x plus 4. Fortunately for an isosceles triangle, the height splits this base in half. We can split the base into x plus 2 and x plus 2, creating a right triangle. And with this right triangle, we can take advantage of the Pythagorean theorem. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Here a is 2x, b is x plus 2, and c is 2x plus 2. Perform any distribution and start combining like terms. The constant cancels from both sides. We get x squared equals 4x, which moving and factoring gives us that x equals 0, or x minus 4 equals 0, meaning x is 0 or 4. Now, if x equals 0, we don't have any triangle at all. Let's throw away that answer and say x is 4. Remember the side lengths were 2x, 2x plus 2, and 2x plus 4. The height has to be 8, the equal sides have to be 10, and the base 12. The area is 1 half base times the height. 1 half 8 times 12 is 48. But if you liked that problem, I bet you're really going to like this one as well. Check out the video on the screen. I'll see you in that one.